Hi, hello, welcome back to my video. Uh, in this uh, video, I will do an activity to find out how much experience that it gives without the well rest above. First thing first, the explanation will be quite long, so I will put down the skip on the description box. The EXP bar is covered by tax but it's 50% at the moment and uh, as we can see I don't have the well rest above but I do have the go shell that give me 10% experience. So we will find out how much uh, whether party medallion stacks up with the buff or it's not or does it overlap do the same as in fire team and all give me more fighting. or not so we will also find out about that in this uh, video uh, the loadout is huckleberry with catalyst fully upgraded it's pretty good because instant reload and rampage uh, fusion rifle the epicurean from the menagerie activity with demolition is the this uh, third Never row perk happened. can be anything but uh, this is the one that I have demolition is pretty much godsend for PvE because uh, compared to loaded question I prefer this mode because it give me grenade back every four to five enemy that I kill and and since it's fusion rifle oh, a loaded question also the same because it's a fusion rifle if I hit an enemy and there is an enemy directly behind the enemy or anywhere behind the enemy that uh, my shots hit and also sh hits uh, it hits the enemy through the first enemy so I can damage more than one enemy per shots actually one shot of fusion rifle is about eight hits but yeah with one shot and yeah load it uh, when they go and also uh, the spec Anything for you? work. I will produce a lot of uh, light orbs, right. so it's pretty good for when you go. For the armor, as we can see, Paragon mod, Hive Infiguration, Super mod, have Hive Barrier, Hive Armament with Super mod, Paragon mod with Distribution. This is the one of the best uh, equipment that I have. And it's special ammo finder and yeah pretty good and hive repurposing and absolution heavy ammo finder and super mod so that's the loadout let's go to the activity which in this video we will do escalation protocol uh, Generally speaking, uh, if you do it with fire team, if you're not alone, because if you have, if you do have a partner, you even if you don't kill the enemy directly, uh, if you tag an enemy and then your friend or whoever that kills the enemy uh, did kill the enemy, it will give you EXP. Oh, uh, so yeah, doing this on fire team is probably better since you know having a friend, pretty nice. Okay, uh, we'll kill acolyte twenty. Uh, then twenty two. Okay, let me activate. The fire team medallion. I know it probably will not activate on this acolyte, but let's try it anyway. 25! Interesting. Interesting. Uh, how about this? 25. 
fine. So, uh, this is just normal patrol. I didn't start the escalation protocol yet, but as we can see, without. Uh, I mean, using for the medallion does give you more EXP compared to just using the Make sure your clips are Go Shell. So do use your fire team medallion because it helps. And yeah, as you can see, there will be a lot of enemy. Uh, I will probably fast forward this activity but I will do record this full and I'll just fasten the process uh, using video editing software later on so yeah as you can see since uh, it's escalation protocol uh, people tend to just uh, instinctively, instinctively join up. The other one. Yeah, I think I haven't touched the mobs just now, but since he do kill, he did kill. Uh, the tree I collect that is fun that give me 75 EXP. Also, uh, this might not be fully escalation protocol. I will also do patrols in tandem with the escalation protocol itself. So, uh, as we can see, there is this one. Start a patrol. And be pretty property. and we also complete the way oh, that's pretty good 1.7 just from the last wave uh, where is the next one I oh I can hear it from yeah there right. uh, let me grab the patrol again and there I'd like you to recover some things for me Oh, and there is high value target over there. Uh, yeah, let's just kill. Boom. 237. Not much. Oh yeah, we do start oh, uh, on 50% of EXP bar oh, before we start the uh, before we start the activity. Also, if we, if you do manage to do uh, escalation protocol with your friends, it, and there is also random people that join up to you, uh, with you, it will also fasten the process way higher than you could think of, because more people equal more kill, and more kill equal faster process to do uh, the 7 waves.
because if you do st uh, do finish it faster, it of course you can start another in another run. So, yeah, another run. I'm rambling so much today. Maybe because the lack of sleep. Yeah, as you can see, these uh, two gentlemen over here, or a gentlewoman, but I don't know, uh, do the CP with me. Oh, and another two person join in. It will make uh, this uh, encounter so much faster. Compared to do it alone. But uh, I think doing it alone is even. Uh, it's a rarer chance to. compare to having to do this encounter with less than 5 people because most of the time people just see that the, oh you're doing escalation protocol let us join in they will just gladly help you instinctively because escalation protocol is actually pretty fun it's just too bad that uh, in current patch it's not really that uh, rewarding since the power gain is capped at 380 yeah about 380 so the armor from the escalation protocol armor which which actually looks pretty pretty good but since it's year one armor it doesn't give the random roll at the moment uh, we'll we don't know whether it's uh, going to be upgraded for the shadow keep, so when the shadow keep drops, it will make it random roll or whatever. But yeah, we'll hope so. Oh yeah, in this escalation protocol, uh, when we do the heroic. Uh, uh, when we do the public event version of Escalation Protocol, we do have to upgrade the encounter into Heroic to progress to the next stage. So if you don't, if you accidentally complete it on normal version, it didn't. Uh, it will not. Progress to the next wave. Currently, we are at level three, I think. Yeah, by the way, with the Wendigo equip, I can also pick up the excess uh, amount of orb that my fellow guardians create and charge my dodge and grenade and also my melee. So basically all three, even, yeah, 
also the super if my super isn't fully up yet. because I have the uh, absolution on my cloak so it really do help me so basically the, this whole setup is uh, pretty si pretty synergize synergize yeah synergize <laughs> See just now, I do kill two enemy with one bullet, and it gave me fifty, about fifty percent back. So yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. And also, since it's a demolitionist, I can just throw grenade, and my weapon instant really reloaded. See, I almost got my uh my grenade up again, and I can just do that. It's a reload. And oops, I miss. I miss. There we go. Mini boss, but it does have yellow bar. So it, uh, when we do kill it, it does give more EXP, not just 25, like the egg light that we kill. Oh, it's pretty dangerous. As you can see, there is three boss that is spawn, two knights, and one wizard. If we do kill the wizard before the knights, the wizard will, yeah, as you can see, the wizard accidentally <laughs> kill, but it's fine. The wizard will, if the enemy inside the green uh, ring, the green aura that the uh, wizard emits it will heal them not full but it does heal them but yeah since uh, since we are killing the enemy quite fast so it doesn't really matter it's pretty good It's about ten percent, fifteen percent. to switch my primary weapon because I don't have much uh, chances to use it I 
because I keep getting my ammo, ammo back. any counter faster Yeah, I shouldn't use the any Paragon mod because every time I kill a Hive enemy, I will get my dodge back. And since after wave two, the enemy is a yellow bar, so counts considered as an elite enemy. I will always get my. It's fine. We'll all make do for this time. the Haven't refreshed yet, so let's I'd love to know more about where this, this patrol and abandon we'll that patrol, and it will pop a new patrol for us. See, yeah, see, it refresh. I mean, not really refresh, but yeah, new one. If you do have a uh, fire team, uh, meaning that you are doing this as a spot, it's also good because 
I mean, obviously it's better. <laughs> but with with more people on the same party, if you don't have that kind of patrol, you can ask them to see whether they have the patrols on their side. Oh yeah. I forgot I switch weapon, but it's fine. Wave yet? Nope. Not yet. Let's see. Okay, our crystal is good. I think our numbers grow. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope. Still the same. <laughs> saying again? Patrol? Yes, patrol. Uh, patrol... Doing patrol with the uh, team is even better because, yeah, uh, one of you can grab the patrol as in start the patrol. While the other two is doing the stop and see, oh baby, the uh, first death, I guess. Oh, 
go. That's one way for escalation protocol. Let's see how much it give. Actually, you already kind of see how much it give. So previously we start about here, about fifty percent. So it's almost full up, and that takes uh thirty minutes. So yeah, that's the video. One uh one full run of escalation protocol with fire team medallion and the ghost shell give you about that much we start here and we finish there so if we do two times it probably give us 50% so one run is about 25% and because we didn't die much so we are not missing much exp from the stuff so yeah that's actually pretty i can't say it's fast but compared to uh, other activity other pve activity it's pretty fast so yeah that's the video see you guys on the next time bye bye